first Thursday upload. I'm really, really sorry that there wasn't an upload last week. I might do a video on why there wasn't an upload if I feel brave enough. I know that's really cryptic, but I just something happened last Thursday that I don't really talk about very often. So I'm not going to talk about it right now. <laughs> cryptic, annoying, I'm really sorry, but I will possibly do a video on it if i get in the right frame of mind but today for you lovely people i have got a food haul and it's a big old food haul i went to sainsbury's i got spent 107 pound in spain spain sainsbury's in sainsbury's and then i spent 14 pound in aldi didn't get what i wanted from aldi which is really annoying but let me get to it so this is a week this is only a week shop some things will last longer than a week. So over here we have some cereals. Chocolate pillows, the children's favourite. Weetabix, also a favourite of the children's. Cookie crisps, my favourite. <laughs> they were all from Aldi, they were. And then these were from... Oh, let me categorise it in Aldi and Sainsbury's and then I'm done. So this was from Aldi and I did some more black bags. I got this, which is the 1001 Carpet Fresh a Spring Blossom and Mandarin. I do like the carpet freshes. They're probably not the most healthiest thing to be spraying in your house necessarily, but it smells really, really nice. I got this Bin Fresh Buddy, I think... I don't know if anybody else follows her, Lindsay Queen of Clean, she's an Instagrammer, she uses these and I think Mrs Hinch does as well, if you don't know, if they're just Instagram cleaners. Um, so I thought I'd give that a try just to freshen up the bin. Some classic dishwasher tablets, these are not, I don't use these dishwasher tablets in the dishwasher, not that I wouldn't, I just don't. Um, I'm going to try and clean my oven with these, I think the lady on this morning did it and Gemma Bray from Team Tom also does it as well, so you rub it over the oven um, glass and apparently it's really really good. I got some daffodils which were 95p a bunch, so I'm going to put them in my vase. So that was everything I got from our day. Now back to Sainsbury's. I got myself a Pledge of Fluffy Duster, just a starter pack, um, just so that I can just dust drain nice and quickly. I got myself a new mop head, because my mop head is not looking the best. On to food. Wholemeal bread. I used to get the Kingsmill one, but I've gone to Sainsbury's now, which has saved me a whole 15p. I'm starting to look at the prices, guys. I'm doing good. Um, this tastes better than Kingsmill. Mm, dare I say. It really does. I prefer it. I got some tortilla wraps. These are all like lunchy stuff. Some sage and onion stuffing for a race dinner, which we will be having Saturday, not Sunday. Super noodles. I brought these the other week. I haven't had them for years and years and years and now Grace keeps asking for them over and over again. A little bag of sugar. Look how little it is. It's tiny. Interesting fact for you all. I've given up sugar. I haven't given up sugar. Like I'm still eating cakes and chocolate and stuff. I mean, I've given up sugar in my tea. So I no longer put sugar in my tea. That is a huge thing for me. If you know me, that's massive. I've basically gone from nearly three sugars in a cup of tea down to none and it's been well over a week now so i can officially say that i have given up sugar in my tea i got six free range eggs i normally buy the box of 12 but i was finding we wasn't getting through it so i'm gonna try all getting six possibly every week so that i'm not using so i'm not throwing eggs away tikka masala we're gonna have this for dinner tonight mm -mm, with jackie potatoes some this is really lazy rice i know but it's just so much easier oh my gosh it's so much easier so i've got two of those classic variety assorted crisps from sainsbury's 22 bags £2.85, I think that's really good. I got the kids, the kids, the dogs, the dogs, definitely, these are for the dogs. Some gravy bones, um, and these 20 metre strips, two packs of those, and some dentist sticks. Pringles, these are for the weekend because we've got a big gymnastics competition and the boys are going to be there for a really long time, so I wanted to get them some nice snacks. So some of these snacks are for some, the weekend when we're out all day. Some orange and mango juice and and some black currant squash basics strawberry jam 
Um, I've not tried these before. Six chewy and crisp red fruit individually wrapped cereal bars by Sainsbury's. Let me know if you've tried them and if they're any good. I thought they looked quite nice. These are our new favourite biscuits, chocolate digestives with um, chocolate chips. Chocolate chip digestives. I got two packs of those and then I got some plain old digestive biscuits. These shots, berry and white chocolate shots, they are just for Adam to take when he's in the van, maybe feeling a little tiny bit peckish. I've had these before, they're lovely. Frizzly, juicy red, six chewy cereal bars, and I got the apple and cinnamon ones as well. And they're my favourite. Brunch bars, they're for lunches. Oreo thins, some brambly apple sauce, which we're going to have for our Sunday dinner, and I've got some pork as well. 10 chocolate mini rolls, some apple pies, six brambly apple blackcurrant pies. Club orange, oh my god, I haven't had a club. Oh, if you like a lot of chocolate on your biscuit, join our club. Who remembers the advert? I haven't had clubs for so long. Kit Kat, who knew they did a dark mint? I didn't. This is probably not a new thing at all, but it's the first time I've seen them. Mm, sound slightly amazing. And some Twixes. I love Twixes. I haven't forgot about them. On to the slightly more healthy stuff box of strawberries box of grapes i've got two boxes of grapes actually some blueberries and some raspberries my kids actually really really like berries parsnips potatoes which obviously just go pretty much with everything carrots i don't cook carrots Ooh, that one looks a bit dodge um i don't cook carrots for dinners my kids just eat raw carrot like i'll peel a carrot and they'll just eat a carrot as a snack <clears throat> easy peelers sweet and juicy um oranges a melon and some kiwis grace and reuben have gone absolutely crazy on kiwis that's all they keep asking for at the moment then onto my chilled stuff i got these were on offer i wish they just did the, them in the pack on offer rather than individual it's a pain so banana and chocolate flake I got five of those because I don't really eat them yogurts to be fair. I kept buying six and then we had one random one lying around. Um, milk, fruits, some ham, big old bag of snack cheese. They didn't have the smaller bag. I wouldn't normally buy this much snack cheese but it'll come in handy. Pepperonis, again all of them have gone mad on these which slightly disappoints me because it's not, it can't really be real food can it? You know what I mean? Ingredients. Pork, iodized salt, potassium, inulin, spices, dectrose, flavour enhancers. None of this is real food. Beetroot juice. Okay, that is slightly real food. They're just, it can't be good, can it, really? Oh, it's gone blurry. Cheese. A big old. Oh, that's a big one, that is. Big old block of cheese. And then for the week's meals, I've got some minced beef beef mince not minced beef it is minced beef but it's beef mince and i will be doing a lasagna with that what's the date today it's the 12th today 13 40 i'll probably do the lasagna for friday um chicken which is for tonight's curry and then some four pork chops which i'll do sort of like a mini roast dinner with those on wednesday and then a roast dinner on saturday with the chicken i also got little gem lettuces i only got two because adam's actually away at some point this week um wednesday night i think so i won't have to do him a salad on thursday so he'll only need a salad tomorrow and friday now which is it's tuesday today sorry people so he'll need a salad wednesday and friday so i only needed two more um i got some berry banana smoothie mix and a my goodness beautiful berry smoothie mix as well and some Yorkshire puddings and then I got a big old big old bag of dog food oh it's dark in the hall it's big it's nearly as big as Seth and that is my food shop for this week it, it, does it look like a lot for like 121 pounds no no it does not is that really annoying? Yes. Yes, it is really annoying. <laughs> but then, what can you do? You know, at the end of the day, you've got to feed people. So, this is... I'm really trying to cut down on my shopping. You know, I'm trying. 
I need to try harder. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope you're all well and I will see you next time. Bye.